with presidential candidate Senator Elizabeth Warren. When I say you look back, I don't mean that you're backward thinking. I, I, I'm trying to say that there were certain things that were gained in the 20th century mm -hmm. that you are proposing that we go back to that people are calling radical, but they're actually, they used to be taken for granted. Yeah. The most radical thing that you are proposing is Medicare for all. Uh-huh. Okay. You think that's the most radical? Uh, I kind of like I, the two-cent wealth tax myself. But yeah, I like them all. I'll take them all. But uh, I'm big on Medicare I think the two cent wealth tax is nothing compared to the 90% top tax bracket that happened was during the Eisenhower sure. administration. Yeah. So that's not as radical as that was before. But there hasn't been Medicare for all before. You keep being asked in the debates, how are you going to pay for it? Are you going to raise the middle class taxes? Right. How are you going to pay for it? Are you going to raise the middle class taxes? <laughs> so here's how we're going to do this. Uh, costs are going to go up. For the wealthiest Americans, for big corporations. Taxes, what do you mean by cost? Yeah. Okay. And hard working middle class families are going to see their costs go down. And but will their taxes go up? Well, but here's the thing. No, I but here's the thing. I've listened to these answers a few times before, and I, I, I just wanna I just wanna make a parallel suggestion for you about how you might defend the taxes that perhaps you're not mentioning in your sentence. Is that isn't Medicare for all like public school? So, you know, actually, there might be taxes for it, but you certainly save a lot of money on sending your kids to school, and do you want to live in a world where kids aren't educated? Do you want to live in a world where your, your fellow citizens are dying, even if it costs a little bit of money? So, I accept your point, and I believe in your point. Healthcare is a basic human right. We fight for basic human rights, and that's Medicare for all. Everyone gets covered. But here's how I look at it. I've spent a big chunk of my career studying why families go broke. And a big reason that families go broke is health care. And even today, people with insurance are going broke over a bad medical diagnosis. And people are getting stretched financially. Why? Well, first you've got high premiums. And then you've got that copay. You need to go to the doctor. You're going to have to do a copay. Oh, and for the insurance company says, I'm sorry, we're not going to cover that doctor, not in network. And then for the specialist you need to see, that the insurance company says, no, you don't need to see the specialist. And for the extra physical therapy and for going to the pharmacy, and that drug is not covered and this one has a high copay, families are paying and paying and paying. And a big part of the reason they're paying is because the insurance companies have set up their business model. And their model is, rake in as much money as you can in premiums, and then say no as often as you can to health care coverage. And the consequence of that is they pulled $23 billion out of the system last year. They imposed costs on everyone else with all the forms that had to be filled out and people arguing over could they get this covered or that covered. This is not a sustainable health care system. I am so deeply grateful to President Obama, who moved this country to say, we as a country want every person here to have health care coverage. And now it's time to take the next step and say, let's do that in the most effective way possible. And what every study shows is that Medicare for all is the cheapest way to do that, and it's the way to make sure that those who have more will pay more, but that hardworking families will pay less. Nobody has to go bankrupt over health care if we get Medicare for all. Now, a couple quick ones. This is mild okay. lightning round. All mild right. lightning round. Uh, how rich is rich for this two cent thing, by the way? Oh, it is. People who have fortunes of above $50 million. So your first $50 million is free and clear. Excellent. But your 50 millionth and first dollar, you got to pitch in two cents and two cents for every dollar after that. Just But so then you I know, wouldn't have a dollar. I'd only have 98 cents. Oh, boo hoo. You're a monster. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, Iran versus the Saudis. Yes. What would convince President Warren that the Iranians did this? And if so, what would the response be? Okay, so look, uh, let's be really clear. We don't have the kind of evidence we need right now. Let's just talk about where we are right now. Mm -hmm. And no president gets to declare war on their own. In this case, what we need, he's, he wants 
folks, to talk about bombing somebody, you got to come to Congress and get an authorization for the use of military force. That's what the Constitution says. Nobody gets to drop those bombs on their own. No. You were a Republican for a long time. You, you, you switched in 96. Did you become an independent or a Democrat at that no, time? No, I've been actually a Republican and an independent because I just wasn't very political. It's high registered to vote. Okay. Um, do you agree with Trump on anything? Yes, yes. Uh, he signed my bill into law that is going to bring down the cost of hearing aids for millions of people across this country. I'm in. My guy. Well, America is listening, Senator. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Senator Elizabeth Warren, everybody. We'll be right back with the cast of the original Brady Bunch. We'll be right back.